this place gets my vote for probably the most unique lodge I have ever visited. I'm here for two nights. I'm Lori Robinson and I design safaris for people. I've been doing that since 2004 and I'm constantly looking around and visiting new places and lodges and camps so that um, I can really know what I'm talking about when I'm creating an itinerary for a client. This place it actually happens to be one of the lodges in the book, National Geographic's Unique Lodges of the World. This is called Earth Lodge and it's in South Africa. It just feels like you're living in the ground, sort of. I think part of it is you are, in a way, this entry, entry area is actually dug into the ground because this place is on a little bit of a hill and they worked with that. Instead of reshaping the land, they dug down and they pulled the grasses and put them in the cement so that the grass is stuck in there and it almost looks like a cob building, but it's actually cement, but it keeps it pretty well insulated in the summer and the winter. And then the top of the rooms um, is like, inside it looks like a thatch, but on the outside, it looks like a little termite mound heap. So similar to what you see out there with the tree growing in it, that's what the top of this building looks like, just a, a little mud termite mound, which is really cool. Everything is using earth um, tones and earth materials. This is the mini bar, and it's just amazing because it looks like um, just kind of an earthy slate. The ground is made of little pieces of quartz with some resin, I guess, in it, and that's the whole floor. It's really soft on the feet. And here's the, um, just the aesthetic is just so all earth colors and earth elements everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. They recycle their water. It goes out of from here and then gets um, recycled through a system of plants and rocks and goes to a little uh, wetland area. And then they have, each of the rooms has a uh, plunge pool and a sitting area. You can just Relax in a little swing chair. You can also take an outdoor shower, which is right here. And you can see how they dug the place into the earth. So that's, that's the ground up there. And so part of this room is down below the ground because it's on a hill, like I said. And so the hill just continues past the pool and they just worked with that, which is just absolutely wonderful. It's really got a low, low um, footprint. Maybe one of the lowest I've seen. So let me know if you love this as much as I do. And I think it would be a perfect addition to a South African itinerary. And I've got plenty of ideas on a great itinerary to put together for you. So contact me at savingwild.com and let's get started on having uh, this lodge and a few others on a wonderful South African itinerary for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel so that you can see future reviews of lodges and tips about going on safari. I put them up often and I'm now spending a year traveling around Africa looking at different lodges and being on safari and designing uh, safaris for people while I'm really on the ground here and just have the latest information of the best places and where the animals are and everything you need to make a life-changing safari. So contact me at savingwild.com. Please give this a thumbs up and give me a comment as to whether this would be a place that you would like to stay. Thanks for watching.